Three places have now been filled in the season six lightweight tournament semifinal round. And the fourth place is set to be filled now. Our final quarterfinal, Floyd Woodard versus Patricky Pitbull. And now the first fighter ready to make his way to the cage, fighting out of the red corner, Lloyd Cupcake Woodard. Lloyd Woodard reached the final four in Bellator's season four lightweight tournament, losing a decision in the semifinals to current Bellator world champion, Mike Chandler. When I was growing up, to be honest, I just went through a phase of being a bad kid. I can't blame on anybody but myself because I'm the one that did the bad things. My best friend at the time got into an altercation. They came over to get me. So like, hey, let's get Lloyd. He knows how to fight. He'll back us up. We go over to this house. When we got there, there was actually only one kid. We went out and beat him up. He was bleeding all out the side of his face. That was the breaking point of my life. Probation didn't go well for me. I got revoked, and that's what actually got me into uh, prison boot camp. I'm glad that that happened. I feel like I control my feelings a lot better. I feel like I have more control in my life. Lloyd Woodard. I want to be the best fighter in the world. I want to have a great fight every time, and you know, I'm, I'm just there to fight, man. I, I love to scrap. Oh, good shot by Woodard. It's there's the stoppage. TKO win for Lloyd Woodard. My thoughts on Patricky, I would like to beat the out of him. Huge shot from Lloyd Woodard! I am so ready to go. You yell at me in the crowd, I'm gonna yell back at you. Yeah, I am gonna kick his ass. I will definitely try to swing it and knock his head off. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent ready to make his way to the cage fighting out of the blue corner, Patricky Pitbull! Patricky Pitbull lost the Bellator Season 4 Lightweight Tournament Championship by decision versus Michael Chandler, a defeat that Pitbull says he thinks about every day. Oh, hits him right high! Oh, big knee! Oh, trouble, he's done! He's out cold! The first person I look to after a fight is my brother. As kids, we were fierce competitors. We fought like dogs, honing our edge. We would fight over everything. We love to fight most of the time. One time, Patricky knocked me out with a punch and stood over me with his hands in the air. We didn't talk for two years after that. <laughs> My brother made me tougher growing up, and he's a huge inspiration for me today. Our will to win is what drives us both. It is why we are the Pitbull Brothers. Oh, good right hand. Hand. Knocking out fighters like Rob McCollum. Toby Imara oh, and Kurt Pellegrino with Bellator has been like a dream come true. But my loss to Michael Chandler is like a nightmare I can't wake up from. Nothing is going to stop me from avenging that defeat, and that includes Lloyd Woodard. He's been saying that he wants to stand up with me. Trust me, I'm definitely looking forward to it. If he wants to stand, he's not going to be standing very long. I love you, Bellator! Well, hopefully they'll be talking two years after this. They're warming up in the back. You see here his little brother holding pit mitts for him, and he punches him right in the Ooh, mouth. Hard good. shot to the chin. Not the first one he has given to his little brother. There you see Patricky Pitbull. So focused, so confident, standing with his younger brother behind him, Patricio Pitbull. And speaking of confident, Lloyd Woodard said that I am coming for the knockout. He's thinking about Michael Chandler. Patricky Pitbull's thinking about Michael Chandler. But first, they have a really tough opponent, respectively, in front of them, our tail of the tape. You see here, Lloyd Woodard, almost six feet tall, much taller than Patricky Pitbull. Can he use that height? Will be a harder target for Patricky? That's an important question. Here again is Michael Williams. Tonight here at Laredo Energy Arena, Bellator Fighting Championships now concludes the quarterfinal round of the lightweight tournament. Three five-minute rounds brought to you by Everlast. Greatness is within. And now introducing first, fighting out of the red corner at 5'11", weighing in at 154 and three-quarter pounds. The season four semifinalist, nearly perfect as a pro, brings 11 wins with just one loss. Fighting out of Missoula, Montana, introducing
announcing Lloyd Cupcake Winner. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner at five foot seven, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. The season four finalist makes his tournament return with 10 professional wins, only two defeats from Natal Rio Grande do Norte Brasil, presenting Patricky Pitbull. And the third man inside the cage, referee Jacob Montalvo. In the middle. All right, we've been over the fight rules, gentlemen. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times and follow my commands at all times. Let's touch him up, come out fighting. Lloyd Woodard's girlfriend, Adrian Priest, in his corner. She is so supportive. Always cage side when her boyfriend Ready? fights. You see Lloyd Ready? Woodard, he's in the Let's black go, and gray guys. trunks. Round number one, Patricky Pitbull in the white and black trunks. Jacob Montalvo is the referee. Knee from Woodard, knee from Pitbull. Knee from Woodard. You know, both these guys are gonna come in with a lot of intensity. Both have very good submissions. Oh, break, break, shot break, to the groin. Break. Time called immediately by referee Jacob Montalvo. Pitbull's gonna have bad yeah, memories of the Michael right. Chandler fight. You remember, he took three in that fight. Patricky, I know Michael Chandler's watching. Patricky Pitbull now has five minutes to recover. Jimmy, both of these fighters very good on the ground. Patricky Pitbull, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt since the age of 21. Woodard has very good submissions. Time. You got five minutes. And that's a good one. Good one to submit to. Knee right on the cup. No coaching, guys. No coaching. Man, he's going to be sterile if he goes through a lot more fights like this. That's the line of the night, Jimmy. <laughs> Just what I'm thinking. Pitbull called Woodard's submission game unorthodox, but still dangerous. I bring up the submission game of both fighters because neither talked about it, really. They both talked about plan Ready? A, B, Ready? C, D, yeah. and E is to stand, trade, right. and look for the knockout. Touch him up, guys. Let's go. Time in, round one resumes. One left thing, hand by Woodard. One thing Woodard Wood wants to do is maybe move in a lot. Oh, come forward, good left hand. The drive and the takedown by Pitbull. Woodard right back to his feet, then eats the left hook and throws a knee. I was about to say, Pitbull very good at timing the right hand, but Michael Chandler beat that by always coming in on him. He couldn't really time the right hand. Good right hand by Pitbull. Flying kick, uh, attempted on a knee, then turned into a <laughs> kick by Woodard. And these guys weren't kidding, they are swinging for the fences. Woodard is a huge fan of the Rocky films, as are we, by the way. He really fancies himself as Rocky Balboa. He always thinks of himself as an underdog, coming out of a small camp with a non-traditional combat sports background. Oh, good left! That was a beautiful left hand that drops Pitbull. I don't know if Pitbull's hurt. That could have just been well-timed, caught him off balance. Good posture by Woodard here. Good ground and pound position. Close guard by Patricky Pitbull. Looking for this slam. Didn't fully get it as Pitbull released. No, I think it was just to put him against the fence. Not so much a slam to do damage, but put him against the fence where he can't use his guard as effectively. This may turn into Rocky Balboa versus the Count of Monte Fisto, Apollo Creed. Both are going to go after it in this fourth and final quarter final of the lightweight tournament. Right hand sneakily by Pitbull. That was smart. Yeah, but it's Lloyd Woodard right now in the position to land the effective strikes. Good explosion by Pitbull right into a takedown of his own. The takedown on the turn from Pitbull. Woodard trying to explode up and he does the body lock. Pitbull in a suplex position. Woodard holding the overhooks. Now we haven't seen Pitbull grapple this much. Usually he's content to stand and bang. Either he doesn't like the stand up or it's just a strategy choice. He thinks he's the better guy on the ground. But so far, very effective stuff by Lloyd Woodard. Great trip. Pitbull kicking out the leg of Woodard. Oh, into full mount. mount. Right you. hand by Pitbull. Woodard looking for the escape out of the back door. Close guard by Pitbull, and now he's dropped on his back and a right hand by Woodard. This does look like a Rocky movie. Maybe he slipped that right. white hand, and it sounded like an anvil hitting the mat. 
We expected an all-action fight. We're getting an all-action fight. Now, this is where Chandler was so successful against Pitbull before. On top, ground and pound, being aggressive and staying in his face. I think Lord Woodard is following that example in this fight. Woodard trying to stack. Pitbull misses with the left hand. Pitbull was thinking up kick. Pitbull then missed with the up hammer fist with the right hand. Woodard misses with the right of his own. Lands with that right, does Lloyd Woodard. When we've seen the Pitbull brothers defeated in the cage in Bellator, it's been by guys who grounded and pounded them. Good right hand, good left. Right hand. He's hurt. He is badly hurt. Another good left. Woodard staggers back, goes for the body lock. Knee by Lloyd Woodard. Pitbull on the double leg takedown. What a fight. This crowd so into this fight. 110 remaining in round one. And they are on their feet here in Texas. And a question might be who has the most in the gas tank because they are unloading in this round. They're treating it like a one round fight. Woodard holding a guillotine position. Nowhere close to cinching that on. Pitbull just pops his head free. Hey, he just doesn't have the hit position to finish that. You saw the hammer fist to the thigh by Patricky Pitbull. Woodard's trying to stay tight. Now trying to lock up the Kimura, but he needs to get out of half guard. He's not going to finish that from here in half guard. It'd be very difficult to do. It costs him a lot of energy. I don't think he's going to do that. He's got to snake that right leg through the legs. Then he'll have the hip position to finish. Another hammer fist to the thigh thrown by Pitbull. Two short right hands. Four times, four times. Pitbull has hooked the leg. What an opening round number one of this fourth and well, final man. lightweight tournament quarterfinal. Great. Thanks, Peter. Yeah. Andre. Watch that eye. Nice. He's not good right here. He, he was with Mario on left hand. He, he won the first round by 10 to 9. You need to work Mario Jiu Jitsu and put more hands in his face. Who's Mario left hand? Who's more left hand and 1 2? You need to win the second round. Patrick. Agora eu quero que você esteja descansando e tudo. Se você esquivar, vai no Zemito. Second down. Second down. Let's go, guys. Man, you just hear the intensity. That's how a brother talks to a brother in the corner. You see here Pitbull landing that right hand, but it was a series of lefts. First one on the jaw right there, and then bang, this left one, the, this next left also on the Ready, chin. Round two. Woodard was, Woodard was rocked. Lloyd Woodard was tenacious in round one. Patricky Pitbull was tenacious in round one. Jimmy, how did you score it? Uh, that was a horrible round to score. I, I mean, 10-9, Lloyd Woodard barely. I mean, I thought Patricky hurt him at the end, but I thought Lloyd Woodard got a couple takedowns, also had Patricky hurt. 10-9 Woodard, but it's a coin flip. Both fighters lost in the season four lightweight tournament last spring to Michael Chandler by unanimous decision. Woodard in the semifinals, Patricky Pitbull in the championship bout of that tournament. Left hooks in this straight right by Pitbull. Both almost seem to be looking past their opponent. Both seem really obsessed on a rematch with Chandler. Well, that's nice, but when you have a guy as dangerous as Lloyd Woodard or Patricky Pitbull in front of you, they have to be your focus. Right hand in the left and the counter left in the right by Pitbull, then the left by Woodard. And they're just trading bombs. Nobody's stepping back. Great right hand by Pitbull. That's his best punch in this round. Straight right hand by Pitbull. Cuffing left in the knee on this shot by Woodard. I think Patricky is hurt by that knee. Team coming up, going for the armbar. Woodard's out. Woodard looking for the hammer fist. An armbar danger and pulls out. He recognized that quickly. Side control now by Lloyd Woodard looking for wrist control. Now the key is how badly was Patricky hurt by that knee because he's in a bad position now. He needs his wit wits about him. I don't know if he has them. Woodard looking for the Kimura. 
Oh, he lost it for a second. Now he's got it. Winner trying to Kimura, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and he has it locked. You see he the taps. Metaphor? There's the tap, and the submission went for Lloyd Woodard. He is through to the final four. Now, that was not just a submission. That was a break or a dislocation. He did not tap until it was over. He is hurt. But, man, what a performance by Lloyd Woodard. That was an incredible fight. Any second of it would be a highlight, but here's the end. Had the Kimura, he briefly slipped out, but here has it, cranks it. You can see the elbow. Turn away if you have to, bang! Left elbow dislocated. And that elbow snapped. See it here, Lloyd Woodard just in great position, cranking with everything he has. And bang, it pops out. Lloyd Woodard elated as he should be. Hard fought victory, he's on to the semifinals. I guess it's not cocky if you can back it up. Lloyd Woodard backed up his confidence. When we return, Jimmy Smith will speak to Lloyd Woodard. The final four is now set. Lloyd Woodard talked more about a rematch with Michael Chandler than this quarterfinal round fight versus Patricky Pitbull. Patricky Pitbull, in fairness, did the same thing. Talked more about a rematch with Chandler than about his opponent, Lloyd Woodard, in this fight. One had to wonder if both men were looking past their uh, respective opponent, each other. Woodard certainly did not look past Patricky Pitbull. And I think it's unfair to say that Pitbull looked past Woodard. A buzzsaw of a fight. And Patricky Pitbull felt the pop in his left elbow. You see being comforted by his younger brother, Patricio. And what class there from Lloyd Woodard coming over to his fallen opponent. Had Patricky Pitbull not tapped, that would have been a technical submission because there was definitely a pop in the elbow. And referee Jacob Montalvo was right there. An early candidate for fight of the year in mixed martial arts. One forty six, the time of the second round submission via that devastatingly deep Kimura. An absolutely dynamic performance by that man, Lloyd Woodard. A second round submission, 146, as he is through to the semifinal round. What a fight. Back and forth we went. They started immediately in round number one. Both fighters took big shots. Both at a high level of intensity, explosive, dynamic, dramatic. Into round two. Woodard with the right hand. But Patricky Pitbull firing back. Toe to toe. And finally, Woodard from the bottom position, locking on the Kimura into the top position. Watch the left elbow, the pop, and the tap. No choice but the tap for Patricky Pitbull. What a victory for Lloyd Woodard. Now 12 and one in his pro MMA career. Here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of a Kimura, the tap comes, 146 into round number two. The winner by submission now, the fourth lightweight tournament semifinalist, Lloyd Cupcake Winner. This will be a very entertaining interview as Jimmy Smith is with the winner, Lloyd Woodard.
Lloyd, we know you're a Rocky fan. You bought, brought a Rocky top uh, type yeah, fight yeah, to the yeah, Texas yeah, fans yeah. tonight. Go, Adrian! I love you, baby. Happy birthday, Pat Little, baby. What's up, my boy? It's the South Memphis. Montana's in the house. Got a Montana bus says in Texas, baby! You are the last semifinalist. You got to see everybody else fight. What's your thoughts on moving into this semifinal field? One down, two to go. Get my rematch. Chandler, you know what's up. I'm ready to go, baby. I'm ready. He brings the energy to every fight. We're going to see him in the semifinals. Lloyd, come.